गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम हियर विथ कम्बसन एंड फ्लेम पार्ट वन ऑफ एर्थ स्टैंडर्ड इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कम्बस्टिबल सब्सटेंस कम्बसन एयर इज नेसेसरी फॉर बर्निंग इग्निशन टेम्परेचर एंड कंडीशन नेसेसरी फॉर कम्बसन एंड ऑल्सो हाउ डू वी कंट्रोल फायर सो लेट अस स्टार्ट द सेशन फर्स्ट इट इज अबाउट कम्बस्टेबल सब्सटेंस what are combustible substance these are those substances which burn in air and after burning they produce heat and light so those substances which produce heat and light after burning they are called as combustible substance for example wood coal charcoal kerosene petrol diesel lpg that is liquefied petroleum gas cng that is compressed natural gas so these are the combustible substance here you can see the figure showing some combustible substance fire wood and coal here also lpg storage kerosene then kerosene stove kerosene is the combustible substance which is used in kerosene stove and lpg is also combustible substance which is stored in this cylinder now the next process is combustion what is combustion it is a chemical process and in this chemical process combustible substance react with oxygen and as a result they produce heat so this process of reacting substance with oxygen to produce heat is called combustion and uh, those substances which undergoes combustion they are called as combustible substance and also they are called as fuel sometimes during combustion light is also produced and this light is in the form of flame or in the form of glow but air is necessary for combustion without air no combustion will takes place here you can see the flame candle flame now let us see how air is necessary for burning for this we will proceed one activity so fix a lighted candle on a table and then put a glass chimney over the table and rest it on a few wooden blocks in such a way that air can enter the chimney from the lower side now observe what happened to the flame now again remove the blocks and let the chimney rest on the table so whenever the chimney is rest on the table there will be no air passing into the chimney and again observe the flame then put a glass plate over the chimney and also observe the flame now you will observe that the candle burns freely in a because air enters the chimney from below and candle stop burning in b because air does not enter the chimney from below because it is just close to the table and the candle does not burn in c because air is not available so this activity or this experiment shows that air is necessary for burning here it is the experiment which show that air is necessary for burning in the first case you can see that the chimney is just a slight above with the help of that wooden two wooden sticks or blocks so the candle is burning in the second case the chimney is just closed so it will be extinguished and again in the third case there is also the candle will not burn here it is the figure which showing the burning candle and candle stops burning whenever an inverted glass jar is placed over the burning candle now the next topic is about ignition temperature ignition temperature means it is the minimum temperature at which substance catches fire and whenever it catches fire it burns so at this minimum temperature is called its ignition temperature so a substance will not catch fire when the temperature is lower than its ignition temperature and for uh, combustible different combustible substances there are different ignition temperature 
different substances have different ignition temperature as i have already told you so let us see the ignition temperature of kerosene is less than the ignition temperature of wood so this kerosene will burn or catches fire below the ignition that ignition temperature less than the ignition temperature of wood substance which have low ignition temperature so that will catches fire easily and that will catches fire with a flame and they are called as inflammable substance for example petrol alcohol lpg cng so these all are called as inflammable substance because they catches fire very easily and here the ignition temperature of these substances are very low now let us see what are the conditions necessary for combustion there are three conditions necessary for combustion first is fuel that is combustible substance air why because it supply oxygen and next is heat heat means to raise the temperature beyond its ignition temperature because below the ignition temperature the of a substance the substance will not catches fire so a substance will not burn without one or more of this condition so all the three conditions are necessary for combustion process here you can see diagrammatically it is shown here that oxygen heat and fuel all the three are necessary for conditions and these are the conditions for combustion now how do we control fire as we have earlier seen that uh, the conditions necessary for combustion are fuel air and heat so whenever one or more of these substances are removed then there will be no fire so fire can be controlled by removing any one of the ever conditions or substance a fire extinguisher cuts off the supply of air or it brings down the temperature of the fuel or both and controls the fire here you can see that uh, uh, water brings the temperature of the combustible material below its ignition temperature and cuts off the supply of air so water helps in controlling the fire next uh, fire is also controlled by fire extinguisher here these are the some fire fighting equipments thank you for any kind of doubts please write your question in comment section